Combat Theory presents. I had a buddy. I had some buddies that got drunk and went to a fight. And one of my friends kept yelling, um, put the cheese in the pocket. Mm. And and later they were like, you know, what what are you what is, what was the deal there? And they're like, I don't know. I just wanted to yell something. Yeah. And I was like, well, I guess you got that. You know, I do know people who, uh, you know, British people have cheese in the pocket. They have pocket cheese. Is, are you making this up? I wish I was. And I might be. What is pocket cheese? Like, you know, they, they just they want a snack for later. So they'll leave the house with the, like those little cheddar bricks. You know what I'm is talking it about? Wrapped in something? Yeah, it's like wrapped in plastic. They sell it as a snack cheese. What is it called? Pocket cheese? Well, they call it pocket cheese. It's different brands. <sighs> if I'm wrong, British people, I'm that, sorry. I know but I know British people that do this. They have pocket cheese. Maybe so. you have one British friend that's just weird, <laughs> and you have generalized all British people are walking around with pocket cheese. I all don't right. hate it. I love it. Here's here's a serious one. Do you have an idea or a strategy? What do you think the best way is to recover from a groin shot? Because mm. I have I've got nothing. I've got nothing for you on this. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I I don't know if there's any scientific okay. evidence to what I'm gonna say. All right. But I always, first and foremost, learn to fight through it. Fair. When guys get kicked in the nuts at my gym in a class or a session, whatever the case is, I don't, unless it was a really bad one, they obviously just fall over and, you know, go through the hole, like, yeah. rolling on the ground. But if it's like, come on, man, you, fight through it. You kick them in the nuts, fight through it. Because in my experience, um, I kick a lot when I compete. Okay. So when you kick a lot, you expose that target. So if they kick while you kick, there's a good chance you're going to get kicked there. On top of that, there's a good chance the ref's not going to see it. Because there's just legs up in the air. Fair. So many times I would get kicked two or three or four times before a warning is even issued. Yeah. So I learned very on. It seems it seems less these days. It seems like fighters are able to kind of manipulate the refs more. But back in the day when I competed, the refs just keep fighting, keep fighting. So I try to pass it on in the class. If it does happen, don't kick people in the nuts. We're not intentionally trying to practice this. But when that situation comes up, your first thought should be, let me fight through this. If I can get through the pain and continue to win the round or do the drill, when it comes up in a fight, I can fight through it. Yeah, I, I, I understand that position. I will say the thing that I dislike the most is when a fighter feels like they got fouled mm -hmm. and instead of defending themselves at all times, defending themselves at all times, which is what we say over and over again, defend yourself at all times, they start to adamantly protest towards the referee or to the other fighter. Yeah. But the other fighter is still trying to fight. So they end up taking shots that they shouldn't have to take while they're whatever. Mm -hmm. I think I do think it's, I don't want to say humorous, but I think it's so weird that when people do get hit in the nuts and we call for a timeout, that every one of them has like a different like strategy of what they yeah. think is a good idea. There's the bounce. The bounce. I yeah. the bounce one I don't. It's like they're trying to shake it out. Mm -hmm. Like somehow the ball has gone inside and that shake is going to let the ball you come like back out. Gravity to No, I don't think that that's how that works. Yeah. Um you know there's the stomping. Guys will get up oh, and yeah. stomp around. Again, I think it's a similar theory as <laughs> like maybe a testicle has gone up. And I don't, they, I they don't, need to kick it out. I'm 100 sure that that's not what happened. <laughs> I don't think that that's what's going on. Um, I I will say the worst thing you could probably do is what your body wants to do, which is keel over, kind of like hold yourself, be bent over. I do advise just stand up. Again, it's kind of the idea of fighting through it is go against your body's natural reaction, which is probably you know really trying to protect you. Was it Crazy Horse's position that? jiu-jitsu didn't work because you could just stand up yeah yeah so you you're saying just stand just up stand up okay. yeah mind over matter yeah you know strength over jiu-jitsu <laughs> i don't know i don't i don't know that anyone's ever done any form of research to tell you what's good there i do think it's funny one there, time I there's saw an expert in the world someone in the world a nut shot yeah one time I saw a coach like basically bear hug a guy mm -hmm. and then try to like shake Jimmy him, shake him out, like shake his balls out. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think that that's 
I, I like he it was like he was trying to give the guy the Heimlich maneuver. Yeah. And but just kind of shake. But instead him, of like getting something out of the throat, it was to push. trying to get it back out <laughs> the like uh, inguinal canal. Oh boy. And I was like, I don't think that that's what happened. Yeah, I don't I don't know uh, the the best answer to it, but I I always again. My guys are told to if you can help it, just like a liver shot. Yeah, yeah. My it, it, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Can you keep going? Try to keep going. If you need, if you absolutely have to take the knee, or your body just reacts that way, now your 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 job is to breathe, recover, get get back to either I a DA count. I don't know that I should say this, but I'm going to say this. I did ask the ringside doctor this weekend about it, mm. and he said, "I certainly know that it, me going in the ring doesn't help." And I was like, I agree. I always wonder. Yeah. I don't know. Like, you know, m- m- I think early on when I was refereeing, a guy got hit in the nuts at PMT. Mm-hmm. I called in the, the medic and the medic said to him, do you still have both of them? <laughs> and the guy went, yeah. And the medic's like, not much I can do now. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's fair. Was that my medic? Was that, that, was was that my buddy medic, Rob? But he's yeah. not wrong. Yeah, yeah. He's not wrong. Shout what are you going to do? Him. Yeah. Like... <laughs> He he was like, are they both there? And the guy was like, yeah. And he's like, all right, not much I can do. You know, take your time, I guess. That's great. I love that. I I I mean, somebody needs to do some research and get back to me and tell me what is the best strategy. For That's this what we're here I for. Don't. We're trying. We're trying to kick up a movement. We're trying to get more information for us. Watch this entire episode for free on YouTube or wherever podcasts can be found.